This is dead. All right, so how do you deal with this? The hole's that way. This tree is right in my way, and I've got to get advance this somewhere to maybe get it up and down. So, welcome to Oak Tree National. Here we go. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Let's play number 16. It's a par five. Uh, by the way, I heard a story about this hole where Jack Nicklaus made a nine on this hole in the 1988 PGA Championship. And uh, this hole's not that hard, but um, you know, any of these holes out here can catch you a little bit if you don't hit the right shots. Now we're playing pretty far back today. Let me see how far this hole really is. It says, it says 511, but man, it plays a lot longer than that because you're basically angled way left and way right. So 511 is pretty much pretty generous here. Uh, one of the things about this hole is that it, uh, you can try to take it off the right side. You can try to take it off to the right a little bit, but there's a big creek on the right, which is where Jack hit it. Um, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it over there. The wind's coming this way, so it'll kick it back to the left a little bit. Um, we'll see if I can't bust it down there. I'm gonna give this swing. I'm gonna give me a little. I'm gonna try to get a little speed on this, and just try to get it down there. Now, one of the things I think is important to talk about here, and it's a good time to talk about on this par five, is I believe you need to play golf at about 80% of your uh, energy. So, in other words. So every, so every swing is about 80%, 80%, 80% as you play around. And then you get to a shot like this, and you might want to think, well, it's a little bit open, it's a par five, maybe I'll add a 90%, try to swing a little bit harder at it to get the ball out there because it's a par five, you want to get home. But I want you to have some, some, some velocity or some speed left in, in the bag here when you play. What I see way too many people doing is playing golf at 100%. Every swing's 100%. Number one, it's exhausting to play golf that way. Number two, you don't play well because you lose a little bit of control when you swing hard all the time, all day long. So this would be a good example where I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna swing a little bit harder at this one, try to get it out there a little further, and if I don't, then okay, what's the big deal? I'm just in the fairway and I gotta lay it up anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a little, little bit of a rip here, and try to get it down the right side. That's as good as I can hit it. And I, I'll tell you where that line was. It was right over the tree, which will get it down there. Now, I don't know if I can get home from there because it's pretty far from back here, but that's as good as I can hit a golf ball. And that was my maybe 10% more of that swing. I don't do that very often. Um, sometimes I feel like I can just give it a little bit extra. That's what I did there. And I only usually do it on par fives. I rarely would ever do that on par four. So let's get down there and see if that one, I can get home on that. So I know pretty much I'm gonna have, let's just see what I got here real fast. Um, let's measure it. All right, I got 235 to the flag. Um, slope, it says about 241. And here's the thing, I mean, and it's probably 215 to the very front of the green. The thing about this shot is that um, you just kind of get that front stuff out of play. You can see that all the trouble's up front. Behind it, yeah, you can get up and down pretty easy from there. So while I can probably hit a three iron or even a hybrid to that front left location, I'm gonna hit a three one and try to bust it up there past. I'm just gonna try to hit it as far down there as I can past the flag and get, get up and down. The wind, I don't think the wind's gonna hurt me. I, it kind of felt like it was hurting me a little bit here. Let's just get up here and hit it for a sec. Okay, let's get in here. All right, I got it. Let me reline this up, because this is a little bit up on the upslope. All right, I gotta line it up good. Okay, there we go.
All right, I didn't hit it great. It's, um, we'll see where that's at. It's kind of one of those spots where I hit a little bit right. The slope kind of messes with you because you're kind of on this upslope and you're trying to feel it. Um, I kind of hit it to the right, but it's kind of not a bad place to be, not a bad place to miss it. Just hitting it over there to the right. So let's go check and see exactly where that's at. Okay, so like I said, this isn't fantastic, but it kind of you know leads me over here where I don't have too, too tough of a chip. This is one of those things where it's sitting kind of down. It's kind of chunky lie, sitting down in that rough. Um, I just want to bump it into that slope and run it up. I'm going to use a different club here. And what's kind, of, what's kind of crazy about this stuff is that this is really what kind of makes or breaks your round out here is that you're going to have lots of like little tricky shots like this where if we can hit some good shots around the greens and, and give ourselves a few little birdie putts, you can do okay over here. Um, but I got to get it onto that slope. And once again, I just want to get it on the green because you just don't want to chunk it and leave it short of the green. So I just want to get it on the green. So my goal is just to bump it into that slope right there and get it right on that green. So really hard, really hard shot because what made that shot, this didn't make the shot hard right here. That lie made the shot hard because it's sitting in just, look at this, it's like sitting in kind of a, it's like soft. The grass is kind of mushy and dead. And so it makes the shot just really hard to control. But anyway, I got a birdie putt. Let's go see if I can make it. So notice too that like, if you look back at that shot, it's not that hard of a shot, but it doesn't mean it's an easy shot because situationally, you just have to give yourself the best kind of chance. I don't mind, I mean, look, I'm not, this isn't fantastic, but I don't mind hitting it a little bit past the hole and just having a roll at it because it's so, it's so easy to chunk that short and then, you know, then leave yourself in a position where it's hard to make a par. So just give myself a birdie putt from there. All right, let's give, my, let's give it a read here and take a look. So, All right, I saw this ball roll up here, so it has a little break to the right. Yeah, all right, I think we're good. Right in there. I'm gonna realign this ball, I don't quite like it. All right, that looks a little better to me right there. Okay, that looks better. Just look a little bit off my mark there. Okay. All right, not bad. Make sure you put these out. Don't give these up. Always put these out. People give, the, give themselves those too much or friends give them to you or whatever. I think you gotta put them out because those are, those are the ones that you miss a lot. And I always make sure I put my one, two, and three footers out just to make sure I have confidence in those because it's so easy. I'll tell you what, if you don't put those out and you go play a tournament and you have one or two of those, you get kind of scared. Get good at them and just knock them right in the middle. I don't know if you remember this hole, this is just a fantastic par three. Um, matter of fact, I think the hole location is pretty similar to where it was when, maybe a little right of where it was last time. Let me see. Okay, 202 to the flag. Uh, real important to kind of check the wind. I'm looking at that flag there. So the wind is coming from the right. Can't see it at all here. It's down in a valley. So it's hurting us from the right a little bit. Um, now, here's what's interesting about how I'm going to line up this shot. And one of the things I think is really important that you pay attention to is next time you play a round of golf, pay attention to where on the tee box you align. 
Now this you would seem like, well, the pin's on the right. Maybe, Todd, you should go to the left side of the tee and hit it from here. And that's a, that's a consideration, but what happens is the more I go to this side of the tee, the more it brings the, the right side into play. If you look at that, it brings that bunker and even the water a little bit into play. And when you have a 200 yard shot, I'm gonna hit a four iron here on this shot. Um, I don't really take it at that flag. Remember last time I played this, I kind of pushed it and it was a good shot, but I'm actually gonna play this. See the staircase in the middle of the green? I'm gonna play it there. And look at that flag, it's, it's straight a little downwind now. Um, I'm gonna play it middle of the green and just knock it through the middle of the green and just try to have a birdie putt at it and try not to put the to flag into play. Um, so I came to the right side of the tee because it brings the left half of the green into play. All right, so that's why I did this here. So you gotta strategize the tee line. It really gives you a better percentage of, of shot here. All right, let's hit the four iron and see if I can't knock it on that line there. Yeah, right to the middle of the green. And that's, uh, you'll come see the putt I have. That is actually the safest shot. I mean, it left me, I don't know, 30 feet or so for birdie. Um, but it's perfect. I mean, that's what you do here. Unless you want to get crazy, uh, now I have a good birdie putt. This is a, this is a great golf hole. Um, and this is really a, a hole that takes a lot of patience to play because if you look at where that pin's tucked on the, on the right side of the green, and it doesn't take much, you know, with a four iron to miss it over there on the right. This is exactly center of green where I hit this ball. I flew it, you know, this flew. This flew 200, 203 yards or so, but um, if you look behind, look behind me here and you can see that if you pull the shot a little bit, it's not an easy chip from over there, so you can kind of see. So this is really ideal, and, and maybe, to be honest with you, a five iron that would have come in here a little shorter might have been the play. Um, this kind of put that into play, so maybe the five iron was the shot. But once again, I mean, I left myself, I'm gonna measure this putt. Let me just measure this real fast. So it's you know, pretty close to 35, the 38 feet here. Um, but let me ask you, you know, would you take a 38 footer on every 202 yard par three? I bet, I bet many tournaments have been lost so, like I said, this is a pretty, pretty good shot here for me. All right, so let me line the ball up. And sometimes what I'll do, just to give you an idea of what I do, I left my mark down. I'll put the ball down to kind of just give me an idea. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk a little bit just to see if I can feel the line and see if I can't get a good feeling of the read here. One of the, uh, so I'm going to walk on both sides of this one because it kind of feels like goes this way. All right, I need to find a couple flat spots here. So, so this feels pretty, pretty flat. So I think it's going to go that way. So I got to go in that way and then that way. So let me just see what the total is here. All right. I'm gonna go left, left edge, let it go to the right, and then see if it'll come down and break down to the left here. I like that, I like that right there. Let's go in a bunch at first there. All right, I think that's it right there. Okay, I like that, that feels good. That feels good right there. All right, get the speed right. Nice little speed putt. There it goes to the left, now it's going to the left. All right, so you saw it, it didn't quite, didn't quite go right enough there down at the bottom, but it was a good putt. I liked it. Don't forget to putt these out. Even though it looks like it's just a couple of feet, you always wanna practice these because these are the ones that your buddies, 
your, your buddies don't give you when they're playing you for money. They always make you putt these. And I, I always putt them when I'm by myself too because those are the ones that tend to give me the most stress when I'm um, playing in tournaments and stuff. So important to putt the short ones. All right, that was a good par. I mean, I'm happy with that. This putt, you know, these 38, 40 footers, I'm actually gonna, I wanna hit this putt again one more time. No one's behind us. I wanna see, I wanna see if I can get it to roll in the right line here. So this one didn't break quite as much to the right as I thought it would. So that one feels, that feels pretty good. Yeah, that was right on line. So, you know, you can learn a lot. Like that, well, that one, you know, didn't quite come off the slope like I thought it would. Um, it's almost a perfectly straight putt. But anyway, good putt. Okay, let's go play 18. And here's what I want to teach you on 18. 18 is kind of a tough tee shot. And I want to try to get it to the right side of the fairway like I did last time. But let's t I want to show you the shot into the green because the shot into the green, it's a blind shot. And sometimes you get shots where you can't quite see what you're doing. So we're gonna talk about that on the next hole. Okay, number 18. Now, one of the things that, to me, when you play good golf is, I, it's always, how do I feel uh, before I hit the shot? And that's why I have this whole robot thing where I talk about using my robot and just lining it up and hitting it. And this shot here, if there's anything that I uh, would say, if you ask me the question, Todd, what, what do you kind of feel um, that you lack confidence in? It's shots into the wind, um, directly into the wind. This hole is directly into the wind. And because I, I like to flight the golf ball, I'm a trajectory guy, I like to hit high shots, but you're in Oklahoma, you, you can't always hit high shots. This one requires kind of a penetrating ball flight. And that kind of gives me a little bit of second thought because I hit it pretty high. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to aim it down the right side. I got my ball lined up right on the right side. And the way I'm going to take some trajectory off of this, and this is the way I do it. Some of you are asking how to hit it high and low. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to narrow up just a fraction. And that brings my trajectory down a little bit. It's not a lot, but it brings it down enough into the wind. So you see me pretty wide on most of my feet. You'll still see me wide but I am going to just narrow up just a little bit and see if I can. This will be a normal width. I'm just going to narrow just a little bit and see if I can't get the ball to stay down just a little bit into this wind. Here we go. Not sure. It was down, but it was a little to the right. So let's go see. Um, difficult hole. I mean, into the wind. You want to keep it to the right. The wind's pushing from the left, um, probably in the right tree line, but it'll give us a chance to hit a punch shot out, see if we can make a par here. This is dead. Well, you don't have to. I mean, I could, I could try to I could hit it over there. No, I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do. So I hit this to the right, it's off the slope. This will give you a good example. Now let's see, let's think about this. I mean, that tree is right in the way. I gotta get it over there to have some kind of shot, but the tree is obviously blocking. So I could hit it up in there, which might be the smart play, because then I got, kinda have a shot. So that, but then I could block myself out. Or I'm gonna hood the face, I'm gonna swing like this and see if I can't catch the ball. And if I catch the ball, it might go over that slope. So let's give it a shot. I liked it. I liked it. I don't know where it's at, but at least I caught the ball and hit it up the slope. So maybe we can get it up and down. Let's go see. Well, that was fun. Anyway, so what you saw was I hit it to the right side, bounced down by that tree, had nothing really to work with. Really just had to kind of maneuver a shot and hack it up here to the right rough 
to give a, a shot at the flag. So at least now I got a shot at the green. Now, look, here's the thing about it. You play, there's a lot of rounds you play where, you know, you hit shots, you're just kind of playing, you're in scramble mode a lot. Uh, and you definitely can get that way out here at this golf course. But what I've learned a lot, and this course may be one of the courses that really teaches you this, is you just gotta stay patient. You, you know, this isn't a course where you go shoot 65 or 64. This is one of those courses. It's one of those courses where you minimize mistakes. So right now, I've just gotta be smart, and the pin is tucked to the right side. I got a hundred and, this is 166 and a little over 170 to, with the slope and everything. Now, I know what's up there, so I'm gonna play it to the middle of the green. So I got about 165 shot to middle. I just wanna hit it towards the middle of the green and give myself a chance to have a putt at par. And then if not, well, you know, make, make, don't make the par. But, but I just gotta minimize the mistakes here and try to play smart. And that's gonna save me a lot of headache going forward. So I got a seven iron here. I'm just gonna try to hit up to the middle of the green. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be long. And the reason it's long is, man, I hit it and it came out so fast from that rough. And whenever you're sitting in the rough, it's the ball, it will you won't be able to spin it as much. And so the grass gets between the ball and the face and it shoots out and doesn't spin it. So let's go see if we can get this up and down. Uh, but once again, you know, you just gotta minimize mistakes. And, and I hit a good shot there. I mean, really good shot, but man, it came out fast. And I knew when it hit on the green and it just went right across the back of the green. Probably went 185 yards. Um, let's go see if I got a decent chip shot at it. But that's kind of one of the things that happens when you play is just try to keep hitting good shots and just do your best on every shot. And you know, that's the best score you can make. So, all right, let's go see what I got here. That was a very short uh, 170 yard shot there. Let's see how far I went. So I came out of the rough, the ball had some speed to it, bounced over the back of the green, left myself, not a terrible lie, it's not a terrible spot, although I gotta tell you, this isn't a great, easy spot to get up and down. I, um, I need to look at this shot for a second because there's two basic shots here. I can try to fly it all the way to the green and stop it, which is a spin shot, more of a spin shot. But one of the problems that I see is that wherever I land the ball, it's on the downslope. So it's really hard to spin it down the downslope. So, Probably the smart shot here is to just bump the ball, bump the ball into the into the edge of the rough there and see if I can't kick it out of that and see if it'll bounce down there. It's gonna come out with some speed, but that's not bad from there. Let's see if I can make that putt. It's, it's not bad, because look, it, it's, it landed in here. Now I normally wouldn't do that, but since it's on the downslope, it, it jumped out of there. Um, those hard shots, notice how much of a slope is here. That's why I didn't want to try to land it here because I would have ended up down there and had a you know, 25 footer or something. But all right, let's see if we can make this. All right, so I got this, I saw it come off down the hill, went pretty straight, maybe just came this way a little bit. So I'm gonna play this right on the right edge. Let me see what I got there. I got that in the center. That might be it right there. I think I like that right there. I'm gonna keep it right in the center. All right, here we go. So, that was pretty good up and down. And I gotta tell you, um, once again, bumping it through that grass wasn't real comfortable, but getting it on the down slope, how far was this putt? Let me see. You know, probably, probably 10 footer there. So 10 footer for my bogey. Hey, sometimes bogey's a good score. But one of the things I learned here is, you know, that was, I gotta be honest with you, that hole there could have easily been a double bogey. 
and that's kind of where things are just going not well. You kind of you hit a bad shot, and then all of a sudden you hit another bad shot, and then you're like hit a, you're just kind of playing a scramble golf. Um, so there's a lot to learn from that. The first thing is I didn't hit a good tee shot. And when you don't hit good tee shots, and you know, you, I talk about this a lot, that hitting good tee shots, getting good at driving the golf ball is, is, is mandatory to great golf. That's where I spend a lot of my time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the range. I'm gonna hit some, hit some shots. I'm gonna work on my low drive because that was why I probably hit that one to the right as I was trying to hit it a little bit lower and I'm not this like great at that. So I'm gonna hit some low shots with my driver. I need to go practice into the wind. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go probably find a hole, maybe go back to this tee, hit four or five shots into the wind, and just really practice on what it feels like to hit shots comfortably into the wind without drifting them off to the right. That's what I'm gonna do. So thanks for joining me out here at Oak Tree National, and that was fun. You know, every round you play, I just finished the last three holes here, and that was my kind of practice round. Every time I go on the course, I try to learn something. Today, I was working on a couple of things. Number one, I took a little extra speed on a par five just to give my 90% swing to hit it down there. So I did a little bit of that, just trying stuff out. Once again, I'm, I'm experimenting, I'm learning, I'm trying stuff so I can learn something new. Um, a couple of shots, some really tricky short game shots out there. So I came over here, I'm gonna work on a few of those shots. But I'll, I keep a journal, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some things down of what I learned on the golf course today and learn from every round you play. So that's what we're, we did at Oak Tree National. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if you enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And look, it helps to share my content as well. So please, if you think this is great for somebody else, share this content with them, send them my channel so they can learn something about their games too.